All right, guys, so we got the opportunity up here at the Glamp Out today to check out Brinkley's new rig. It's the 3100Z. Um, let's do a quick walk around this thing, check out the outside of it, and then we'll take you inside. And I've only got to look at it for a couple of minutes, but a couple of key things to look at on this thing. Number one, in your front pass-through, it already has uh, pre-wired for your inverter and a generator, so everything's already ready in there. I'll put a picture up for that. Nice little touch on the slide. If you look up underneath your slide, there's a couple of little lights up here. So you're not whacking your head. So you can see under here. Little slide, right? There are four slide rollers on this one little slide up here to keep this thing nice and stable. No Schwinn techs. No twin techs on this thing anywhere. So, the front pass or the, the first pass through, it's a leveling system right there. They put a sweet uh, LED strip up there so you can see all the way across. They built a brand new one. All of your tanks, when you go to dump, no more pulling handles. They're all electronic. You flip the switch, it opens your valves, dumps your tanks for you. Check it out. No more rolling up your garden hose. It's already built in. You just pull this out, run it down through your drop, hook it up to your filter system, and you are uh, you're hooked up and ready to go. That's pretty cool. Furion tankless hot water heater, your furnace, simple plug in, and to your hose. Oh, okay, there it is. So your dumps, your hoses. And one thing that I noticed on this one right away from, so we have a grand design, the flimsy skirting that's on the bottom of these things, this stuff's solid. Like when we had our blowout and it tracks the whole side of our trailer, this is way more solid than what we have. And if you have to manual override your slide, they actually left you a hole in here to do it. So you can get your crank in there, crank your slide out. Nice. Smart. All the squared off windows. You like those? I think it's pretty sharp. All right. Nice LED uh, headlights. I don't understand why they put reverse lights. It's, who can see? I guess this one comes with a zero on camera, so maybe you would be able to see. We don't have cameras on ours. So. Space. There's a power outlet back there. Um, I can't see what's together. Oh, it's heated. There's a uh, there's a vent back here to keep the stuff in the freezer. Nice. Oh, that's kind of a nice one. You got your trailer hitch. Uh, not that you would probably want to pull doubles, but I guess you could. Or uh, just put a uh, you put your bike rack or anything back here if you wanted to. You want to take them up on the roof? Sure. Oh, looky there. There's an extra little piece of ladder up there. That's nice. Walkable roof. Solar panel. Uh, the AC is a Furion 14.5. It's pretty solid up here. Um, rack and pinion slide system. I like those rims, too. Sitting on Coopers. Again, all the way around this thing, it's got the nice squared off black on black frameless, frameless. windows. I like the, uh, the LED strip underneath of the awning, double awnings hmm. with the slide. Super nice. Let's move up to the stairs. Did you go the pass through? Not oh. yet. Oh, okay, sorry. The hand rail comes all the way down. So you have your handrail with your stairs, and it's all collapsible. So that's pretty cool. It comes with the screen defenders. You don't have to add that on for the puppies. So that's nice. Look at the size of this pass-through. And finally, somebody put a water spray shower on this side of the trailer. Because how often do you have to clean off your grill on the other side of the trailer where all the showers are? Nobody puts water on this side. This will be super cool. 
All right, so the front pass through might be big enough for all the Chili K's chairs. Not really. It's never big enough for all the Chili K's chairs. But the this is a game changer right here. They put these barn doors in. So now you can get into your basement to work on all your stuff without having to take the entire access panel out. They got a nice shut off for your battery. Instead of the old key thing that you accidentally hit all the time with all the Chili case chairs. Ooh, 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 ooh. Check this out, guys. They put shut offs everywhere. So you don't have to shut off your entire unit. This is probably your washer dryer prep, but you can you can keep that shut down if you're not going to set up your washer and dryer so you don't have stuff going into the caps. So this unit has two grey tanks on it, but they're plumbed together into one, so there's only one shut off or one um, dump valve. So, you know, our kitchen is always almost empty, but the bathroom is always almost full. Gray tanks, the way we're set up now, those two will flow together, so they'll kind of level each other out, and then you can dump them just with one valve. So the propane set up with two 30 pound tanks, but they made the excess big enough to put 40 pound tanks in. So if you wanted to upgrade from your 30s up to 40s, you've got room to put them in here. That was a smart idea. And it comes from the factory with a uh, Bluetooth uh, door lock. I think you can get access to it from your telephone to lock and unlock. And you've got your keypad already ready already. Smart move on their part. Put one of those super strong magnet door stoppers. Mm -hmm. Don't hold your door. Okay. So here we are in, in the bathroom. In the room. Seems pretty standard size. All the fixtures are really nice, modern. And they were even talking about black, the black, everything, like the use of strap. vanity. Shower looks like a car wash. Mess cabinet. Yeah, the tribal soap. Looks like a car wash. <laughs> it does. Oh, it even has this thing here. Oh, nice. Can you touch the ceiling? Can you touch the top of the dome? I can't touch the top of the dome, so nice. maybe you would fit. What's the cabinet? I mean, it's pretty. Well, nice storage tank. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Shelves back here. Oh, oh there's the forever. There's the hot water tank. There's the hot water tank. Got some nice hooks here. Everything else looks pretty standard. Of course, little Look up. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice fan. They put the max air fan in instead of. Right. There's also shut off valves over here as well. For the commode, smart. Check out that toilet paper holder. Oh, that's yeah, fancy. Grab a hold of it. So it'll stay still while you're moving, but you can move it if you want to while you're. Like that. It's used for the one roll, but then they got that for you to put your extra rolls. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they put brass. The gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So they have the gold here, but then they have black. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. I really like that it has a door, you know, an actual door instead of the slider. And then it has a little hooks here. Hold up. That's nice. So it's got a little television. We don't really care about TVs. But simple little things that stick out to me anyway. Like if we look above the television here, you see the outlets and the plugs and everything. Even they're lined up square. Everything is like put together well. The, it's, it's got wood casing trim. Super nice. You have your hidden compartment for treasures that you don't want people to find. Nice dresser drawers. Yeah, that's a nice dresser. There is there is nice space in here in the bedroom. Nice space to walk around the bed. I like these little compartments, but I feel like they would just get stuffed full of stuff. 
You know? Just yeah. Are one. there no screens in this window? Oh, check these out. Yeah. So you have your blackout blinds, right? But if you slide both sides over, you can have a screen. Oh, there's the screen. Or you can disconnect. And have none. And have nothing. Which gives you a much better view. And oh my god. They're in the tracks, top and bottom. Uh, so when you're traveling, they're not bouncing around and flipping and flopping. Yeah. Everything stays nice and tight. Wow. Dang, they really did it right. I wonder when they're kind of these kind of screens and window blinds are on every window. <laughs> so there is an outlet over here on the floor. You have USB ports up there by those little shelves. So you can charge up your telephone at night. That's a smart little touch. I like the USBs up there. Again, these are handy to have, but I feel like it would just get stuff. Do you notice that above the window, they have those shelves? Mm -hmm. That's nice. And I like that each side of the bed has a window because I like to look out in the morning. Yeah. See what's going on. Nice this is a king bed. Storage under there. Your stuff. It's, I mean, it's not a ton of storage, but it's good enough. Oh my goodness. Let's check out the closet. Okay, maybe. How do I get it open? It's a slide. Oh. <laughs> Silly girl. It's just an easy slide. I made it look difficult. Nice. I mean, Is there a light in there? You know, there's, oh, there's a light switch. I mean, oh, nice. The light switch is inside the curtain rack. Uh-huh. There's a cordless vacuum prep over here. Nice, nice. Nice little shoe hole. I mean, this closet is per... I mean, this is like... This is like a normal closet. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times they have your... You sacrifice some closet for uh, washer and dryer hookups, but... There's I mean... your dryer vent hookup right there. You could use this as storage, but yeah, definitely... With the washer and dryer. Your washer dryer or your washer hookup stand. Nice. There is a second air conditioner just for the bedroom up here too, so comes this, pre. Uh, this solves the uh, full-length mirror problem. Right, you already got it. It's a low profile. I think that's the only. Yeah, there's not many options. Yeah. So it just comes with all the good stuff. It does, yeah. So they definitely, you know, they want to give it to you how you want. So the options you got, you can get dual pane windows if you want. Okay. Um, and then you can get the queen bed. You can get a low profile AC, so it stays a little bit of height as far as for low clearance stuff like that. Right. Um, the second AC is is standard on there. It's just a low pro make a low profile. Is it um, still a fourteen five or? Still a uh, fourteen five, I believe. So I. I believe it's actually, it might be a 13.5 up front. So typically okay. it's 15 for the main. Actually, no, 14, it's for your arms. Yeah, 14.5 for your yeah. arms. So, yeah. I was already up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 14.5 for your arms. And the nice one, they're definitely 14.5, but they definitely are, they're very efficient, very, very um, active uh, uh, air conditioners. Definitely cool it down quite well. Then the microwave, is it convection or just regular? Just standard okay. on this one. So the nice thing is, if it is something you wanted a convection, not necessarily a option to change it to the factory, right. but it is a full size one, so, you know, you can swap it out, yeah. you don't have to find a RV size. Right. Yeah. yeah, you might get a different bracket on the back, but sure. but with this, no convection, but it does give you a deeper oven down here, too. Okay. So I actually get two racks down there, as opposed to just one. We can put more cookies and more loaves of bread at the store. <laughs> yeah, we, we <laughs> exactly. need it for sure. I hear you. I like how the um, stove top, the grate is higher. Mm -hmm than mm. what ours is. And they got so. rid of, they didn't do the glass, the glass yeah, top. Yeah. I mean, the glass is nice in a small camper where you need more countertop space, but yeah. you got a lot of room to work around. It's just one more thing to break in it. Right. Obviously one more thing to forget to put down and then drive away and it falls right. 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 So but this one, you know, and super easy to clean up too. So pull it nice. up. And you get, you know, if something does fall down, it's real easy to clean up. I like how they did the gold brass accent stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spice rack there. Oh, there's a spice rack. No. And then it's an insert. Yeah, yeah, if you want to take it out. But one nice thing about this is overall construction. So their 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 theme, their like kind of tagline is automotive exterior, residential interior. Mm -hmm. So this go and give that go and push that close there. Get soft closed, soft closed doors. Oh my goodness. And that's all that's, that's, on, that's on the uh, on the closet there. That's even on this little flip down tray you got over here too. Man. Wow. Look at the 
the size of that pantry though. Yeah. So in that pantry, adjustable shelves, and you see the outlet right in the middle too. Mm -hmm. So if you have an ice maker, or if you have a coffee maker, or something you want to put in there, just leave it plugged in. You don't have to take it out when you get to the camp spot. Nice. And if you look on the very bottom there too, that little uh, access cover there. So that access cover actually goes up to the roof. Oh, okay. So you have conduit going up there. So if you add something, say you add a satellite satellite system up there, just run it through there, and it's a straight shot over to the basement. Nice. That's my coffee bar. Is that that's, that's the 12, 12 volt fuses. Oh, okay. And then okay. on the side of the door, the right the door when you come in, that's where your circuit breakers are. Your, your gotcha. 12 volt circuit breakers. Okay. You in one of these, Mike? Dude. Maybe. I think you should get I, I'm seriously considering. This is nice. You're talking about the overall quality, too. Like, so this, you got hardwood cabinets that actually dovetail joinery, too. Okay. So, not plywood. So you can even see it better on this side. So then, oh two goodness. trash cans built in. But you can see over here, I mean, it's, it's a piece of hardwood. It's not right. It's not plywood. It's not something that's gonna swell or anything. But then, burger spot for paper towel holder. Take it to the table, take it outside. Shelly K, you don't have to worry about unrolling your paper towels driving down the road. <laughs> Way nicer than the house in our house. I dig the brown. Get a little storage space. I got you got USB C's on there too. Nice. USB A and C, yeah. Nice. Wow. Is that a charger in the center console? Yep, wireless charger for your phone. Wow. And you got USB inside the handle and USB on the armrest as well too. Whoa. Yeah, nice. When are they gonna start putting little coolers on the armrest so I don't have to get up to grab a drink? <laughs> I mean, you can line it with a plastic bag. And right, right. Oh, I like the brown leather, though. And this one, too. So this is the bench that goes over for oh. the uh, table there, too. Okay. So you, yeah, you can sleep four people there. So it only sleeps this. two. Oh. That'll fold up. You got a little spot there. That's just like the oh, coffee table wow. at home. Oh, my God. Do they have any in stock? So as far as this unit? Yeah. So actually, this unit we have in our lot, this is a show unit. So because they're still building, so... If this is something we want to order, yeah, like we can order it, but they're definitely ramping up production. They just built their, their first new uh, facility to actually build, build out of. So, okay. um, What's the lead time from order to delivery? Last I heard, a month or two. Really? Well, that's not bad. It might, it might be different, so it might have changed. I, don't, I, I haven't chatted with the rep lately to double check. You want to see something impressive, Shelly Kay? You can't even tell where the planks of wood change. Yeah. Oh, the like slide. they lined it up perfect. Right here's the slide. Yeah. That is really. Yeah, nice. you get flush on both sides too. Oh, yeah. A lot of units in this class will have the uh, will have like the step up mm -hmm. slide over there. So you got a little wood strip, you know, kicking it while you're cooking something out the kitchen. You got the it, elevator. Down from the top. So. Oh, yep. Oh. Okay. Yep. You got the elevator. You come up. How do you? That's the elevator. How do you work yeah. that? So up up underneath the. Here. Yeah. Where, where I need, do I, 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 I write a check? I, who do I write a check to? Take my money. Look at that. Because we don't watch TV very often, so mm -hmm. it's nice to just put it yeah. away. Because, like, right now, we sacrifice a window space, For right? Sure. Like, it's uh, just up on the wall. All right. What do you think, Matt? I think we both need to buy one. <laughs> I'm just going to have to buy a truck for bullet. <laughs> and then you have this the control cool. for the fireplace. Yeah, fireplace and everything. I, it, it's, 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 it has to be plugged in shore power for that. Oh, uh, not 12 volt. Yeah. So it got some fireplace, but also has a space heater in there too. So. Oh, okay. So you mentioned the windows. So the nice thing about these is you got the full panoramic windows. So they these are frameless windows. So they instead of sliding and everything, they open up at the bottom. Now, the common complaint with those is that you don't get much airflow. These actually open up six inches, so they open up wider and further than a traditional frameless window does. So you open it up. Well, yeah, this one a little bit less because you have the, the rail and uh, the ladder right there. But the nice thing with this is that if you're camping in the middle of the in the middle of the uh, middle of summer, it's gonna be hot. You're gonna have the air conditioner going. You want to be able to see the view where you're camping. Sure. So that you have no screens in any of the windows. But you do open up one. You want to get the screen, slide that up, so that's ah. get the bugs out. But then it's time to go to bed. That's it. Close that down. I know, right? It just gets worse and worse the longer you're here. This is crazy. Better than yeah. 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 Yeah.
stable homes. Oh, that's true. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how they did. I used to work in campus for three years. You put this headboard out, you got to fill it and everything. Is everything new? Is that all? Or is it just? It's actually back side. I've never been looking at the back side of it, but. Okay. What kind of warranty comes with it? So you got your standard kind of one year tip to tail, three year structural warranty. Um, every appliance, you know, every different aspects have, have separate warranty. One thing that's different with this is that the roof actually has a 25 year warranty on the seals. What? 25. Now I'll be honest, I worked on campers. I was like, that's a little scary. I was still inspecting everything, but they say it's like maintenance free and stuff like that. So I mean, it's. It's definitely a different process. They definitely are going above and beyond trying to give you something that's going to last. Wow. Yeah, I saw the one yeah. corner back here. It looked like they had to touch right. up the, And I was uh, in the back corners, that's yeah. that's the weakest spot. You're gonna you got get the torque and everything, right. that, that's the weakest spot. So they might have put a little extra up there. They might have you know, got in and got, you know, like I said, put a little extra sure. up in the corner. But that's nice. I mean, it's it's definitely going to stand up to the weather. It's not We're about gonna, full-time living. Do they still? Yeah, full-time. We're warranted for full-time living. So okay. no, no restrictions. Any. With the three years? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah living in a full, they're not going to punish you for using your camper. They, they want you to be able to use it. So. Oh, we use the snot out of it. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> so the outside, you got the skirting, like the metal skirting, the J wrap and everything on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, this is from the wheel fenders. Yeah, so this is actually how it's all riveted together. Yes. So instead of having screws, which you got, you know, that much that much metal and that much plastic, right. it's going to back itself out. Yeah, I take um, mine up all the time. Yeah, 100%. So this one riveted together, so it's it's going to stay nice and tight. It's, 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 and it's not, it's not as dark as it is. It's different. You know, they use some lighter colors. Yeah. The sofa is made for short people. Like, my feet can around. That's the thing. We can't buy furniture, right? Yeah. Well, my life's not very similar. Yeah. 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 I just cut the ground or the circulation. I cut the circulation off my legs. Yep. My wife's far too, I have. Yeah, that's the I think. My, I think she's about five two. Yeah. How tall are you, Shelly Kay? Five two. Five two and three quarters. Five two and three. Got to get that. Three quarters. Three, I say five three. I feel like I'm lying. Well, my wife's five one and three quarters, and she says five two. Right, so. right. By that, by that uh, logic, I'm five. I'm six one. So. <laughs> I'm six one. And, and then these here reclined. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they reclined. Sorry, I got those cushions and stuff in the way there. Yeah. So you got the panel reclined. Are those Thomas Paine or what? It, what brand are those? They don't have the. Yeah, I don't believe the Thomas Paine. They don't have the god ugly uh, yeah, wrap like around the, the feet that we still haven't taken off of ours after. Yeah. And like you can you can see out a window everywhere you sit. Like if you're sitting there, you have windows on both sides. You know, and the windows are lower. Mm -hmm. Cause like we have a window in our in our slide with our sofa, but it's up high. You really can't. Yeah. You know, you have to. Great. What I say with, with having this, like having the, the screens, have everything done in. There's no balances, nothing to hit to knock off. There's no right. something that's gonna date the camper <laughs> real, real quickly. And the kitchen chairs are actually comfortable. They're padded. They're not just a hardwood. You're talking about a piece of travel too. So you've got you've got this uh, strap up here for the for the bench. Sure. For the chair here, they put these little brackets on the wall. So it comes with both straps to strap both chairs together. Okay. So, so you can actually strap both those chairs together right here where it's nice and easy and slide it in. <laughs> and just slide that right in there. Oh, well, look at that. It's not going to slide anywhere while you're traveling. There's an outlet underneath the table yep. for computer charging purposes. And look how deep these cabinets are, too. And and I can reach them. I can right. reach the cabinets. You're not getting in them, though. For those, wow, those are huge compared to ours. I like the magnet closures instead of the little spring yep, yep. that never line up once you hit your first pothole. Yeah, that's 100%. The nice thing is, I mean, you got 7,000 pound axles, 8,000 pound leaf spring. So it's, it's an over, over engineered, you know, heavy duty, heavy duty spring there. Um, but she's a heavy, yeah. she's a big girl though. She's heavy with all this. Yeah, you know, about 12,000 pounds dry. The quality's yeah. way better than, you know, we're in a reflection right now, right, so. Yeah, yeah but we're in reflection. I mean, I was, yeah, reflection, great design is our number one seller right. at the store. Um, 
everyone's looking, they're like, you know, what makes the difference? Well, this one, this reflection, the solitude, whatever, compared to, you know, a different brand of a similar layout, mm -hmm. it's about three, 400 pounds heavier usually. So it's a little bit heavier, which right. it's behind the wall. It's the, it's the quality and everything. So similar to this one, I mean, a lot of the same, you know, and thought process went into The R value on the roof is a little higher than the... Yeah, so, yeah ceiling is 40, floors is 40, walls is, is 11. Yeah, so it's 10 higher than this reflection floor and ceiling. I don't know what that is. The insulation. Oh, okay. The limiting transfer of the uh, uh, heat. So it'll stay cooler in here. We won't have to run the AC as, as much. And warmer. And Tanks. Warmer. And warmer, yes, sir. Is it uh, tank heaters or yeah. is it just through the ductwork? Oh, so you have oh, okay. switch in there for the tank heaters. Okay. And it'll switch and then it is, it is heated up. <laughs> okay. Did you get table legs? Yep. I know. Did you, uh, did you trap underneath and see what's underneath the table? Oh, yes. Pull, pull, I know pull, about pull. this. Pull the front of that. There's your silverware. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. Matt's had enough. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's had enough. 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 Matt's had Piece of paper, drink notes down, or cards. Yeah, she does not need more knickknacks. <laughs> I know, right? We got a junk drawer at home that it's. We need a second junk drawer because our first junk drawer is overflowing. Our camper has two junk drawers. <laughs> so nice, you pull that out a little bit. You got a little, you know, got a little, little blackjack dealer action. You got the. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, see, that I was looking for. Look at the little. Right. <laughs> 60, 60 cubic feet. So, side by side. And the nice thing about this too is see where the island is. Mm -hmm. So you can get in. See so where the slide is there. So with all the slides in, you can walk in here, walk straight to the, to the fridge, and get something out of the fridge without having to put any slides out. Or I saw it's inverter ready, yeah. but it's prepped for it. So in the front compartment, they have mm -hmm. the wires just strapped up to the top, so they've yep. already wired everything. So you can get it installed, get it wired up. And it's all ready to go for inverter. There you go. So you can access the fridge and the bathroom yep. and the bedroom with yep. the slides. I've already taken my next Yeah, that's the one thing that we would have to do is the inverter so we can keep the fridge running. So the fridge, fridge is actually on 12 volts, so it runs off the battery anyway. It's, oh. not, it's not a residential fridge. Okay. So it runs off the battery. So as you're going down the road, it's run off the battery. And you don't have yeah. to use propane, you're just running yeah. off the battery. So it is a 12 volt, uh, 12 volt refrigerator. Yeah, so I mean, and the nice thing about the 12 volt refrigerator, too, so your gas is left for the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. If you, like, say it's it's room temperature, obviously you travel on it, it's probably stays cold most of the time. But if it happens, you know, be without power for a couple weeks and you need to get it ready, you got to play the night before. Yeah. You gotta, you the know, night before? Yeah, like two so nights before. So 10 to 12 hours in order to get cold. And I've been asking my parents, they get uh, Klondike bars. The only, the only time they get Klondike bars is when they go camping. And it's good the first night, the second night, it's like, eh, you buy it and just melt. Just right. Cold. So, this one, because it's compressor driven, hour and a half, two two hours, it's cold ready to go. Okay. And it keeps things a lot a lot more evenly. What kind of freezer space did you have in there? Gonna get it. Uh. <laughs> Do we get a group discount if you sell like ten of these things this weekend? <laughs> you never say never, right? Never say never. So. That's a good idea. For real. Yeah. I mean. Jeff 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 sold ten of these this weekend. He's gonna knock off an extra. Something percent. Right, right. I'm, I like it. I never say never. So if I, if I go oh, through, right I people one of the, the deals, I'll probably get all give you guys the same deal. You're going to hear a great deal about that. So. I like the accent lighting up above, yeah. too. Oh, smoke alert. Oh, yeah. It's probably a yeah, smoke detector. But does it have dog bowls? No dog bowls. Oh, my gosh. Is he going to say dog bowls? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah it's pretty. Oh, my gosh. That is it. <laughs> now, the only thing I don't like about that is we'll leave it out and I'm going to stub my toe. No, I mean, I kicked it a couple times today. But the nice thing, I mean, it's, it's low part. I mean, it moves a little bit, so it's not super rigid and, like, kind of just, you know, right. not give if you do have to take it. I don't know, a pinky toe in the corner yeah. of that thing is not going to go well. What I see is take these out. You can take them outside if you need yeah. to. And then that still kind of cuts up the <laughs> But then they're classable, they're washable, and you can make it super easy. Even if you don't want to use it for a dog, because I know my pets, if they know there's food underneath there, they're going to try to get in there, even when it's closed up. So, right. You know, if you can use other stuff, or like I said, just take it out and set it outside if you need to. 
I like the fact that they put the outdoor shower on the campsite yeah. mm -hmm. because I never carry my yeah. grill to the other side of the trailer to clean stuff off. There's no. And, that's, that's, that, and that was one of the things with the owner when they built the first prototype. It just had the one on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. So get out with his family. He's got a couple kids. We go to the lake or go hiking. You want to rinse off? Time you walk around, you're muddy again. So right. He's like, I need one on the other side. So now it has one on both. So. Mm-hmm. And the barn doors to get into the basement? Yep. Motion activated lights under yeah. there. Yeah. Why why doesn't everybody yeah. do that? So you don't have to take the whole freaking yeah. panel apart to crawl up in there. Only one to two months. You order one to two Right. Right. Roughly. Like, it, might, it might change the 10 people want it, but <laughs> <laughs> again, I mean they've definitely increased their production. I wanted to look at this string. Yep. Alright, let's see what we'll write up there. Yeah, and then, it's just like I need you to read the pool. All of your buttons, everything you need. Yeah. All right, so. Nice. Yep.